Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a few things going on. So I'm going to go get my nails done today, which I cannot wait because they're much needed and wanted. You guys know that once I get my acrylics on, I'm like in a hurry to get them off. And then once I'm without them, like I want to get them done. So anyways, we're going to go get them done today. On top of that, my mom had got me a cute little charm for my birthday for my little charm bracelet. So we're going to go get that put on today. It's actually there at the store. So I just need to take my bracelet. That way they can put it on. I'm hoping they can kind of maybe get it done within an hour. Sometimes they tell you like to come back the next day. But if they do just tell me to come back after about an hour or so, um, Target is right next door. So we may just do like a little Target run. And then also all morning I've been editing my cleaning video. I need to send that over today for brand approval. Normally my cleaning videos I upload on Saturdays or Sundays. So I'm really hoping that I can get the video done today. That way they can go ahead and approve it tomorrow or if there's any little minor changes that I need to make, um, I can do that tomorrow and get the green light to upload on Saturday or Sunday. So yeah, and then tomorrow I'm finally going to be getting my hair done. I am like well overdue, I mean like, my roots have grown out at least to right here. I need a trim, so it's very much needed and I cannot wait. However, I can't decide if I want to just get a touch up of what I already have and just kind of keep it light a little bit on the blonder side or if I want to tone it down. I was thinking about going maybe a little bit darker, but then it's summertime, so I'm kind of thinking maybe just keep it light. I really don't know. I'm a little indecisive right now. So um, hopefully by tomorrow morning, I'll make up my mind. But of course, I want to fit in some more reading. I've been taking my time with this one just because I've really, really been enjoying it, which doesn't surprise me because I absolutely love the Dreamland Billionaire series. This is book one in the Lakefront Billionaire series. I'm on page 368, which is on chapter, I want to say it was 38. Yes, so we're on chapter 38. <sighs> and speaking of books, I think literally in my last vlog, I had mentioned that Emily McIntyre is releasing her title this month. Well, she released it the other day. I was hoping for a Beauty and the Beast reimagining, but it's a Little Mermaid reimagining. But even then, I love it and I'm excited for it. So I think it's going to be released in November. So really looking forward to that. And then in the next few days, King of Sloth will be released and I cannot wait for that one as well. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of editing done before we head out. nails and I got like this really pretty fun pink and I absolutely love the way they came out. So now we're going to run on over to James Avery to drop off my charm bracelet that way we can go ahead and get the new one put on and then after that I'm going to see how long it'll take them to put it on. They may just have me come back tomorrow so let's go ahead and make our way to James Avery.
Okay, so I just dropped my bracelet off. Luckily, it will be ready today, but it won't be ready until after 5 p.m. So maybe we'll come pick it up today. I don't know if I'll maybe just come back tomorrow and pick it up. But right now, we need to head home. I need to grab my laptop really quickly and then go ahead and go pick up the kiddos. bell just rang but i got to chapter 39 you guys literally i cannot recommend lauren asher's books enough i've only read the dreamland billionaire series absolutely loved it and i'm loving this one just as much it's such a good book it just makes me feel like really really giddy and i also love that alana and cal pop up in this book and also the mention of declan comes up and i just absolutely love how it's in the same universe so <sighs> Yeah, the bell rang, so let's go ahead, grab my daughter, and then we'll head on over to grab my son. I may try to get through one more chapter, but after we pick up my son, we're going to head on over to James Avery. They said it would be ready after 5, and it'll be about 5 o'clock. We need to run on over to Target to get a baby shower gift. We won't be going, but we wanted to go ahead and at least send a gift. So we're going to go ahead, run on in and do that and then run on into James Avery and then just head back home. I still need to wrap up on editing the cleaning video that I have for this weekend. I need to go ahead and submit that ASAP for brand approval. And then I also need to fit some studying in and I still want to take Stitch for a walk because it's supposed to rain for the next two to three days. So I want to get him out a little bit before he's just cooked up inside. So yeah, but let's grab my daughter, the line's moving. Friday so I'm quickly getting ready because I need to run out of the house last night I was just like editing it got really busy so I didn't pick up the camera after I believe after Target and then this morning I went ahead and got the cleaning video sent over for brand approval and then so now I'm just trying to really quickly um, try to get everything together because I'll be stuck at the hair salon for about five to six hours I still need to drop off the kiddos at school and then I think afterwards I'm going to stop by Starbucks for a quick little coffee and breakfast and I may need to get gas as well so I need to hurry up so let's go ahead and run on out Looks so crazy this morning. I literally didn't brush it this morning, but I did let them know that I was running a few minutes behind. We just got here, so I need to go ahead, run on in. As you guys can see, my roots have just grown out like so much. I need a trim 
And I still haven't decided whether I want to keep it light or if I want to try going a little tiny bit darker, kind of like not the blonde, but not a brunette. So, so yeah, we'll see what we come out with. I wanted to check the mailbox to see if any more of my Etsy orders came in but really quickly I wanted to show y'all so currently this is what my Kindle looks like I have the super cute stickers I have Belle with her nose stuck in a book I have book nerd books are better than people book lover books read and then some classics which is uh, Pride and Prejudice to all the boys I've loved before which I love that movie on Netflix that's one of my comfort movies I will sit there and watch part one through three literally like almost every single week it's one of my comfort movies as well as Twilight I have a Twilight marathon at least two to three times a month but anyways I love how it looks but I did order a couple of new stickers. So you guys know that the Chestnut Spring series is one of my absolute favorite series. So I got a cute little sticker and it is the Chestnut Spring series. So I really, really want to put this one, but I also got another sticker that is so cute. It's like a little, it looks almost like a little notebook and it has a little to-do list, which is read, read, get coffee and read. So I do want to go ahead and throw these two on there. And then also this little pop socket, it's pretty old. <laughs> So it doesn't really stick as much as I would want it to. There's times where if I'm like holding it like this, it'll actually kind of unstick. So I've been wanting to get a new one. So I got this super cute little cowgirl boot and it has like little flowers and like little greenery popping out of the boot. So I want to go ahead and put this on. I think this with the little chestnut spring series sticker it's just so cute. So I want to get that on. And then I also got this super cute bookmark. Um, I have quite a few. It's like a heart shape and you kind of insert the pages, but you can never have enough bookmarks. So I got this really cute. It looks like a ticket and it says lifetime member of the Cowboy Romance Book Club. Cowboy boyfriend 100% guaranteed. Boots and hat required and then admit one cowgirl. It has like the little cowgirl boots, a little horseshoe, little cowgirl hat. And then on the back it has a little cowboy hat with cactuses. And this is just so, so pretty and cute. So I got this. And then I didn't order this one, but they sent it to me and it's super cute. It's a little like spooky one. So this is perfect for the spooky season, but I'm still waiting for my other items to arrive. So I'm really hoping this weekend. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys a close up, but the charm that my mom got me for my birthday for my charm bracelet, it's a little book. Like, look how cute that is. It's like a little open book. I don't know if it's focusing but it's super cute and I love it. So that's what we got put on yesterday. Um, I think we have an errand to go run really quickly. So we're going to do that, probably grab some dinner. And then afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and redecorate my little Kindle. Okay, so we ran our errand already and we just had dinner. I just grabbed some Chipotle and I just realized that I hadn't ate since my little breakfast sandwich at Starbucks this morning. So I was pretty hungry, but yeah, so I checked the mail before we came home and my other little uh, goodie came in. I'm still waiting for this main one that I cannot wait for. But the other thing that I had ordered was this cute little bookmark that just says books and coffee and it has like little flowers. It has little lattes and books on here. It's just so, so cute. So. I have two more that I can add to my collection, but let's go ahead and update the stickers on my Kindle.
you guys so I made my little nighttime tea and I'm just going to spend the rest of the evening editing this vlog but I did get to chapter chapter 49 and I believe there's 55 chapters so I'm almost done I wanted to go ahead and just wrap it up tonight but as always I do need to hop right into editing but I did want to go ahead and properly close out this vlog Hopefully these past couple of days didn't seem too all over the place because that's how I felt like they were But I did also want to share mine and my husband's little getaway last weekend We stayed in the cutest little 40 foot container home and we also visited the dr. Pepper museum and we also went to fabled bookshop That is one of the cutest bookshops that I've been to it was actually pretty busy and packed but nonetheless, I absolutely loved it and I wanted to go ahead and share some clips. I really didn't want to vlog too much out there, but I did get some footage. I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and insert like a little montage of our little weekend getaway. <laughs> Thank you. 